blockade reached Grand Sorin. Hail, friend. Been some time. Trust you've been well? <laughs> but come. If it was idle twittering you'd wanted, you'd have sought a prettier bird than this old crow. Crows bring tidings, most oft grim. Me, I bring you work. <laughs> Still grim, I'm afraid. Well, salvation again, naturally. Nowadays word they've a man inside the castle. If that be true, he'll have need to leave the castle eventually to meet with the others. All I ask is that you keep watch. If you see someone leaving the castle, shadow them. I only have need of your eyes. Follow them and see what business has them out. I'll do the rest. Skulking about is more my line than yours, I know. But pray, lay your chivalry aside this once. I do it myself, but there's aught has me away from Grand Soaring for a time. Nothing for it, I fear. Tell your findings to the innkeep. We have an arrangement. Tread carefully, friend, and quietly, what's more. Pick any you like. What will it be today? Understood. Aye, the inn offers a clean bed, but it deals in under his guidance. Francis has known peace and prosperity. You... you seem the type unlike to judge a man by his mien alone. I would ask you a favor, sir, if it please. A wise choice. I warrant you'll be eager to hear what I have to say. I have long searched for a certain tome. Salomet's Grimoire. Tis said its pages hold the power to grant the reader command of grand arcane magic. The book itself is ensorcelled, you see. Even a novice is as a grand wizard with that grimoire. I would ask you to seek it out and bring it to me, sir. Recompense? Pray, let us speak of such things once you have found the book. The enlistment corps scours the land for soldiers to man the frontier. The land over sing of his exploits, albeit in the broadest terms. It seems no one knows just how he managed to defeat the beast. nor too far.
I bid you good day. Let us tell the innkeeper what, what we've business seen. could Madeline have with that knight? And in secret, what's more? I hear you've become, uh, what was it? Uh, arisen. Important, aren't you now? Such a post must come with benefits, hmm? Gold and jewels and the like. You'll find naught but the finest wares here. Thank you very much. We'd best bring word of this meeting to Mason. No, to the barkeep. Let us tell the innkeeper what we've seen. As expected of a residential area, it's much more quiet. This shop will see to your hair, should you be ever mind to have it styled. Oh, it's you. Mason told me to expect you. If you have a message, I could relay it. The night then, is it? Fine then. I'll pass the word along. We may learn art from Camilla. Oh my, this must be an alehouse. Hey there. This la All in all. Have your pick. Any you like. Oh, well, understood. another mad quest for flowers, or bugs, or whatever takes his fancy of late. It's a bother, but we can't very well leave him to wander off to his death. Would you help me find him? Many thanks, cousin. We should ask the other villagers for all else. One of them must have some word of him. Are you certain we ought to enter someone's home unbidden? Thank you. 
he's an outgoing sort. He'll like have friends among the villagers and peddlers, we might ask. Hello. Valmiro, forgive me, sir. I've yet to meet all the people of this village. Though, one moment. I did see a young fisherman not unlike you describe, near the shore. Seemed a kind enough lad, if a bit unawares, as if his mind was elsewhere. Someone help me. Take care, Arisa. Sea monsters prowl the shoreline. That was a bad idea. Please. Herbs. I need herbs. Many thanks, cuz. Might I ask what brings you so far afield? You came in pursuit of me? Forgive me, cuz. I guess it's nothing new. <laughs> what can I say? I seize upon some idea, or perhaps I should say the idea seizes me, and before I know it... Well, I suppose all is well enough now. I'll go back to the village with all speed. I shall endeavor to limit my future explorations to nearby the encampment. I've gained quest knowledge. This stretch of road is called the... Not again. Please. Herbs. Two of them. <laughs> I am eternally in your debt, Kaz. After my last trial, I thought to bring herbs of my own, but they were used all before I took notice. Seems a caution is first to go when inspiration strikes. Still, I count this journey a success, made more so by your fine company. Perhaps to the Witchwood next. I've gained quest knowledge. Head, stomach too. Please, cause I need herbs. Three. Yet again. A thousand apologies, cause somehow you always end up bearing my burden. I considered myself well equipped this time, truly. But my stores were heavy, the monster was quick of foot, and I lacked the everyday sense to avoid such a mess in the first place. In the future, I shall confine my explorations to the village proper. These wanderings of mine lead only to trouble. I'll straight away to home, and no delay. You have my word on this.
I've learned what to do. Is a wonder. In any case, cousin, you have my thanks. <laughs> 